Yep. Good afternoon, this is Andy Hodges reporting to you from the National Command Center at HICC right in the capital I. As I say, this is the nerve center of Zim Elections 2023 and of course we're continuing our extensive and exclusive coverage of the Zimbabwe Elections 2023 with our correspondents all around the country at our main studio and of course with a crew in the studio here at the National Command Center. I now welcome uh, with great pleasure and I'm joined by the Deputy Chairperson of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, Ambassador Rodney Kiwa. Ambassador, thank you so much for coming and talking to ZTN Prime. Well, thank you, Andy. It's always a pleasure. Now, before I get into some of the other issues, Ambassador, I think it's, it's, it's good for us to deal with the main issue, of course, which is the late opening of the polling stations and some of the new information that we've discovered about the printing of ballots and ballots actually being delivered and so forth. Maybe you could explain that. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, by way of a quick background, you know, uh, you will notice that the, the, the ballot papers that were, uh, gave us a, a problem, as it were, were those that uh, dealt with the local authority election thing, would, would be the councillors. Why? Because uh, you find that uh, most of the appeals that were made, the contestations that were made in our, our courts affected the local authorities. So that pushed and affected our roadmap in terms of what we're going to do at, at, at each stage. You remember, uh, you know, publishing the, 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 the voters' role, the provisional, pro provisional role, uh, the inspection, mm. uh, the nomination codes, uh, and so forth and so on. So the net effect of that was that uh, our timelines were affected in to the extent that uh, uh, when the courts finally decided on those uh, uh, challenges, uh, we were too close to our, to our timelines. In fact, to the extent that uh, as, as, far as, as late as, 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 as Monday night, we were still uh, uh, printing uh, uh, by, by ballot posts, uh, by ballot papers. Now, those that we were able to dispatch, unfortunately, uh, we can say it's fatigue, which of course, as, 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 as Zach, uh, we, 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 uh, I will not use that as an no, excuse. Of not, yeah, yeah we, 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 we have to do things correctly, and uh, I, there are no apologies for, for that. But unfortunately, you will find that you know, the, 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 the some of the papers, uh, the uh, ballot papers, had mistakes and it had to be retained uh, back to the printers and to be redone. Well, now when you say mistakes, were these mistakes, I mean, I saw the things where there was different, the picture of a party with the wrong candidate. Such things. But, but also, what about, what about the ones where you had printed and the candidates that, that appealed were not on them? Is that also some of the situation? No, no. In fact, what, what has happened, we, we, we really didn't print. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, in those cases that were contested, we did not print because we, were, we had to wait for the results. All right? So, but in the printing, Instead of getting uh, Mr. Hodges' name correct, uh, we with the right party logo the and, and, and so forth and so on, and then of course uh, such mistakes like placement of your photograph uh, under a wrong uh, political party, mm. such mistakes, because you just have to get the ballot paper correct mm. so mm. that mm. Uh, you know the the, the, the the voter is clear as to who uh, they are voting for. I think that is a, a but, but if you look at the percentage, I mean, only 23% by your own numbers were open at 7 a.m. Are you saying that uh, that, was, that was widespread in Harare and Bulawayo, that, that those mistakes of, 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 the, of the ballots? No, the contestations were ma mainly in, 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 in Harare and, 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 Bula and Bulawayo. So the, so the ballots that you say were mistakes, one, they, they, literally, they did go to numerous polling yeah, stations. Because, then what, 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 yeah, yeah, because you see, as you can see, we did not have challenges in terms of presidential mm. uh, 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 ballots or national assembly uh, uh, ballots because th those were clear, there were no challenges. But because of the uh, very many challenges that we're obtaining in, uh, in Harare and, and in Bulawayo, that caused the delay. Now, when you are doing anything under pressure, uh, it's, 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 uh, the, the, the probability of you getting something wrong becomes high. Mm. And not only that, even if we were to uh, get the ballot paper correct, delivery times were also became a challenge. Uh, because, for instance, like when we were sent with dispatching one of our vans to, to Bulawayo, it was on time in terms of the, the you know, the, the, the normal time that would take from here to Bulawayo. But what happened? 
a breakdown. So we end up having to fly some of the ballot papers and so forth. Those challenges, you see, the thing is that uh, in, in, the, in, in, in the electoral process, it's not just ZEC. ZEC has to work with partners, uh, uh, you know, the, the printers, uh, the Andy Hodges of this world, <laughs> so that everything works like, uh, you know. Mm, clockwork. Uh, like like clockwork, mm. like it, it must work like a Toyota engine, like a Mercedes Benz <laughs> engine. Everything must be synchronized. Mm. And mm. if there is one glitch there, it affects, there's a chain reaction to that. But uh, we sincerely, uh, you know, apologize to, 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 to our stakeholders. That's not what we planned for. That's not what we planned for. And that's not what we meant to, to, to mm. do. Mm. That mm. inconvenience, uh, you know, is greatly uh, regretted, but we appreciate the patience that our, our, our voters, our people, our stakeholders demonstrated uh, in, in, in bearing up with us. But so, so listening to what you're saying, Ambassador, you're saying this is really about logistical issues whereby ballot papers were printed mm -hmm. and there were some of them were printed incorrectly mm -hmm. with the wrong logo, with the wrong picture next to the party and so on, mm -hmm. and, but they were dispatched. So sometimes you had to return those ballot papers, you had to reprint Correct. and then send them back to the, ballot, to the, to the polling stations. Correct. And that is what caused the primary the delay the in the opening of, exactly. of the polling stations. Yeah, bearing in mind that polling day was only one day the 23rd of, uh, right. of, of August. Now, let's talk about that, because obviously there was a debate when, when we knew that the polling stations would open later. There was a debate about the legal aspects, because, of course, the President's proclamation was the 23rd of August, mm -hmm. which is where the 24th came in, because mm -hmm. obviously now the President had to legally mm -hmm. make, it, make it legal for people to vote on the 24th. Talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's within his powers as he exercised. I, ca I cannot talk matters legal, I will not pretend to, 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 to talk about matters legal, except that what, what, what is clear is that uh, he is within his uh, uh, legal powers, his legal authority that enabled and the, the relevant uh, parts of the Constitution and the Act were are cited in the statutory instrument, and that is clear. Mm. So what it means then is that as we speak now, uh, 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 voting is, is going on, and then what it also means to us is that uh, uh, because we are bound legally to announce uh, presidential re results in particular within five days, so we start counting from tomorrow. Yeah, this is, this is one of the things I wanted to ask you. So because normally if we, everything had happened properly on the 23rd, you would have started counting five days from today. Correct. But because today is also an election day, because the election is continuing in those, mm -hmm. in those polling stations that mm -hmm. weren't able to vote, mm -hmm. that means that, of course, mm -hmm. that, the, uh, that then the, the, you have five days mm -hmm. from tomorrow. So we're mm -hmm. now talking instead of Monday, mm -hmm. we're talking Tuesday. But, of course, you told me yourself that mm -hmm. if the results come in earlier, mm -hmm. um, you will announce them. It's not like you, it's just five days is the legal Correct. limit. Correct. In fact, that is our, our aim and purpose to say, yes, we have got the, the, the legal framework, that, that legal space that we have allowed, but no, we don't want to do that. If we are satisfied that all the results that have been you know, collected and verified, verified are in order, and uh, we will announce at the earliest opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it just allows us space to be able to do our work properly, mm -hmm. but uh, that's not the aim to say, uh, we will announce at the last day of the, of the legal period provided. No, we will announce at the earliest. That's what we are working for, mm. that's what we are working towards, and that's our purpose, that's our aim. Okay. To, uh, you know, we cannot on one hand, uh, you know, stretch the, the patience of our, of, of, of our stakeholders. We know they mm. that they will want to know. They want to know quickly. Quickly, yeah. and yeah. so that they can go on with, yeah. their, with their lives. So we are working to make sure that we announce. Now, there was a little bit of confusion because apparently your ZEC officers are at particularly, particularly at, at various polling stations are actually announcing results at those polling stations. And of course, the news has picked it up because it is ZEC who's announcing. We have won the impression, of course, we thought that possibly the command center would be the only body announcing, but that isn't the case. No, yeah, I mean, for instance, like uh, uh, from a polling station, the, uh, the, 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 the votes are, are transferred to, 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 the, to the ward. And that is, uh, refers to the ward council, right? So the V11 is posted outside the, the, the ward council. So everybody 
Uh, <coughs> I know, but uh, Andy has won uh, this world. But now your Z guys have announced it this time. Uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, and that's okay. Says they, yeah, that's okay. That's very much that's right. And then, of course, they will correlate here it and you'll be announced it here. Exactly. We will also. Uh, well, tell us about that post, Ambassador. I think it's interesting for ZTM Prime viewers. So, I mean, you did, when, when you had an extensive interview last weekend, you did talk about how literally every single physical ballot paper at some point or other will end up right here. Is that, is that how it that's works? That's correct, because we are bound by the law to, uh, uh, you know, keep each and every ballot paper used, spoiled, or unused for a period, I think, uh, not less than six months, uh, because of potential contestations whereby they might be required mm. to, to be revisited. Mm. Mm. So, yes, we are required by law to keep that. Do you, ver do you re verify the numbers when they come here? Like, if the polling station or your agents there, the ZEC agents have announced, do you, when they come here, do you then re verify? We, and re we do, we do. This is why you have uh, uh, each political party or candidate represented is uh, at present at, at each and every level, be it ward, uh, uh, constituency, uh, you know, mm. uh, presidential. Uh, right to pay, uh, right up to presidential. Mm. Now, I noticed today you did do a closed-door briefing mm -hmm. of observers mm -hmm. um, and monitors, obviously of some who are local and, of course, the, the, yeah, the foreign the, one. The, um, maybe, was it really to explain this? What was that about? Yeah, no, 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 thank you for, for, for raising that, and this is one of the reasons why I was unable to see you at the at an earlier opportunity. But uh, we received uh, what is called the uh, 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 Electoral, uh, Electoral Commission's uh, uh, Forum, uh, they, 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 they are part of uh, the observer team. We at ZEC are also a member. They are mm. peers. We, they, we belong to the ECF, the Electoral Commission's Forum of, uh, of, of SADC. So they were briefing us about uh, their observations uh, as they went around the areas, uh, the polling stations that they visited, the sort of things that they, they, they observed, and uh, uh, where they felt we did good and uh, where they felt we, 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 could, we could improve. Mm. And we welcome that because they are our peers mm. and we learn from each other mm. that there's mm. absolutely, there is always room for improvement. Oh yes. You cannot say that uh, in any system that we are doing, you have reached the end state. No, mm. Uh, mm. even in your broadcasting, I'm sure. <laughs> there, there, there that are is true. There, 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 are, there are always areas yeah. for, for improvement. Of so course. We are there as a, as a matter of uh, understood policy. We, we exec my management, we are there for continuous improvement. Mm. And mm. our interactions with uh, such uh, sister organizations like DCF, in particular cases like this, are, are very useful mm. because they will, they will also help us later when we do a post mortem mm. to see mm. what did we do good, what mm. did we do badly, why. And what, what are the areas that we can, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that need, need improvement? What, what about other observer missions? Did you receive any calls or any, any um, you know, co contacts from heads of other, other observer missions to ask you about the situation on the ground and for you to give them a briefing? Yeah, you, you, you recall we, 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 had, we, we, had, we gave them a, 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 a full briefing, and some of them <laughs> have did come back to us to say we were out there in the field, and this is what we observed, and... Uh, that's kind of following the same uh, mm. concept mm. and, 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 and mm. line like uh, mm. uh, the ones that we, we, we just now had. I'm, I'm not sure it's a question for you, but mm. did, did, the, did the observer missions give you a general overview of what they feel? I mean, obviously, they, ha they still have to finish the election, the process, mm. and still obviously do reports, but pro provin pro provisional um, reports to say this is what we thought. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done election observation before. So yes, I, of I, course I, you I have, yes. Practice. So... Uh, they normally they would do what they call a preliminary report to which they would invite uh, the journalists and inc include uh, us as you know, you know uh, participants that so it I'm aware that uh, uh, I believe this uh, SADC, uh, election observer mission is uh, I think that they are uh, inviting us for for their preliminary uh, Tomorrow, yes, at yeah. 11 o'clock. So, yeah, so that is a, 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 an SOP, a standard operation procedure okay. uh, by, by observer missions. They will come together and mm. invite everybody to say this is what uh, they, they've observed, exchange notes, and say maybe 
correct each other to say, well, uh, this did okay, but was it universal? Mm. Some will say yes, some will say no, and, and so forth, they shared, and so forth. So Let that's the... Let's talk about the presidential vote, because, of course, that, that is being followed with keen interest by all Zimbabweans and Zimbabwean yes. registered voters. Mm. So let's get this right. I go to a polling station. I vote for my presidential mm. candidate of mm. choice. Mm. Obviously, they then collate all the results. Mm. Everyone signs, political party mm. signs, mm. and so mm. forth. They post everything mm. up there. Mm. Then what happens? No, they, 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 they are brought presidential. Under the They're not posted up on the, on the no, polling. No, no, no. no. no, no. Those are, those are, so only, so only at the polling booth is members of parliament and local authorities. That's correct. Right, so then, okay, so now they get, the, everything is certified, everyone signs off, now what happens from the polling they'll station? They'll, they'll, they'll be all be brought to here. So all of them are brought here. Okay. And this is where now the counting is done. Okay. Now, do we have any timelines? I mean, wh when is this, is it already started happening? Are, are some already arriving? Do we expect a time limit uh, no, to when they'll be here? Uh, uh, no, uh, our expectation, like I'm saying, let, 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 let's not confuse our viewers. Okay. Uh, counting starts from tomorrow. Right. So let's, 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 let's put it like that. Oh, I see. I get you. So, so I see. So from tomorrow, that's when you're starting to expect yeah, these ballot, the ballots coming in from all over the country. Then what happens is you then count them here. You recount them. You recount them in need be in front of political agents. This is upstairs here in the command center. And then once everybody's agreed, that then within that five days, it allows your chairperson to then come into the auditorium. That's the process. Ambassador Kiwa, of course, Deputy Chair of the Zimbabwe Election Commission. Many thanks for talking to the Prime. We, of course, sir, will be catching up with you over the next few days. Um, I can see you're tired, and I know you've still got more work to do, so uh, good luck to you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> That was Ambassador Rodney Kiwa, the Deputy Chairperson of the Zimbabwe Election Commission, just giving ZTN Prime an update on the issues that were. And it's interesting to note, of course, the first important issue is that the five days under law starts tomorrow, not today. Because remember, if, election, if polling had finished yesterday, it would have started today. But now, because it was extended by one day by a statute entered by the President of Zimbabwe, that five days starts tomorrow. Secondly, he explained in detail about the logistical issues surrounding ballots, particularly in Harare and Bulawayo and all around the local authority and some of the mistakes made on the ballot printing, which then the, the ballots were delivered to, to most polling stations, but they had to then be withdrawn because there were mistakes on them, reprinted and then sent back to the, ballot, to the uh, polling stations. And that is what caused the delay. And of course, Ambassador Kiwa, on behalf of ZEC, did apologize because he did appreciate the, the patience that Zimbabwe has had waiting, some of them for seven, eight, nine hours. In fact, some of them even had to go home and come back the next morning, this morning, to vote. So he apologized on behalf of Zek for those logistical issues. Um, and of course, um, as he said himself, you know, no election is 100%. However, Zek, Zek obviously to hold their hands up and say, you know what, some of the things we could have done better. Well, that's it for me here. I, of course, will be joining you later on from the command center. I'm Andy Hodges. It's back to the studio.